anxious thing with us now. Having good communication skills can help you uncover your needs and those of others that will enhance understanding and empathy and will also help you set strategies that are more effective in creating actual change. Now, transformative communication is for anyone who wants to improve their relationships with the aim of bringing more awareness and harmony to their relationship. It is aimed at both groups and individuals and can be used on a professional level. So today we're asking, how can we ensure transformation through communication? Now, please let's share what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 381 is your 384663. You can also tweet us at Wayshu Africa 1, the hashtag will show. I want to come to Diola in one second because I have two guests to bring in now. <laughs> you know, you are the communication person. So how have, how have you translated, um, uh, what's it called? the skills that you have through communication, how has it transformed you as a person and people around you? Okay, so, um, well, um, I'm very big on communication and um, I think that um, when the objective for you is um, you do not just want to have communication for the sake of just speaking, you know, you truly want to communicate with the other person or and you truly want it to be transformative, then it goes to, it influences how you communicate with people in terms of your language, in terms of the fact that um, you're, you're speaking to people, you're open to feedback, you're open to understanding their thought process, you're open, um, you're, you're open to, you know, um, listening not for the sake of being defensive or arguing but truly you know trying to understand where they are coming from and um, in that space you know when you have transformative um, communication for me like that i have um, we i have um, benefited from the fact that people usually let down their guard and they are more open to you know speaking to you from a place of um, empathy from a place of honesty not necessarily because you know you have also attacked them and then they feel like they need to get their guards up and then reply back you mm. know the same way that you have come at them so yeah really um transformative communication for me has um influenced the language my nuance is my body language you know bringing all my communication skills to bear every time i need to you know speak to somebody engage people whether at an individual or you know at a at a group um, level okay nj you want to add to that no <laughs> All right, let me bring you our guest, distinguished Toastmaster Kubiyanga is a writer and communication consultant. He is an immediate past president, merit Toastmasters Ikeja program quality director and um, division director elect, division F and co-chair education and training committee district 94. I have no idea what all of those things are. <laughs> now, Toastmaster <laughs> Messi George Igbafe is the um, an award-winning um, tech evangelist agile coach with impeccable analytic skills proficient in data analytics um, agile scrum kanban um, business analysis project management and digital marketing she's the chairperson of media publicity and branding of nigerian toastmasters conference and the founder of Len lento i think i believe and they joined us live in studio. So when you see all these Toastmasters people, I'm now wondering why is Noma a fan, not the one hosting the show today. <laughs> so that I just go and take a break. But hey, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank, thank you, you so much us. for having us. Thank all right, so this conversation, first of all, because Mondays are dedicated towards governance leadership, right? We must first of all find a way. Is it possible for us to start to have um, transformative... Um, transformative uh, style of communication amongst our leaders, if it is possible, how do they even start? Because I think there's a big gap when it comes to communication and the Nigerian leadership, if you would agree. If not, tell me why not. <laughs> Who's going first? Okay, maybe I, I actually mentioned it to him. The way you waved your hand with regards to so, uh, fuel subsidy and the lack of communication with the government and the citizen, there's a massive lacuna. And it is possible. You learn how to speak. There's a reason we have two years 
and one mouth. The goal is to listen more. And the only organization that I believe that gives you that kind of platform is Toastmasters. I'll let him speak to that. Mm. But I totally agree that transformative communication is a game changer. Donald Trump did it. He was engaging with the people. Every step of the way, he was having conversation. But our government feel there is no need to have conversation. But they did have conversation when NSARS happened. So it's <laughs> impossible to have transformative communication with people. It's important to have a dialogue. Don't feel that you have to be backed into a corner. Peter, we did that. It was engaging, communicating with the people. So Toastmaster is that organization that instead of you to go and pay public speakers, motivational speakers, it gives you where you learn how to speak effectively and how to lead. Because once you can speak effectively, you can lead. You can become a better leader. You will be definitely transformed leader uh, through the way you communicate with the people that you work with and lead with influence. So I'll let him speak, uh, my distinguished Toastmaster Kubi, to speak on the value. <laughs> it's something you earn, years of working and offering your service as a Toastmaster, you are honored with Distinguished Toastmaster, so. So uh, before um, Distinguished Toastmaster <laughs> comes in, I just want to add that, you know, I am a product of Richmond Dyer Johnson. You know, yeah. his leadership, his mentorship, he saw me a diamond in the rough and said, you know what, I'm gonna, I, I see you beyond who you are as a person and I want to invest, you know, and, and, I, and I see this I say this because um, I know how much he also impacted a lot of leaders in Nigeria. Governors, senators, he was always helping them, you know, to, you know, to guide how they communicate. And they became better leaders, mm -hmm. right? They were more empathetic to the ones they were governing, you know. So just to allude to what you were saying, that, you know, truly it can make you, you know, different. But let me come to you. Um, Distinguished Toastmaster. <laughs> <Today, not today. laughs> Go ahead. Thank you very much. You see, though, I'll start from here. Everything rises and falls on leadership. And I can take it further that communication, effective communication, is a language of leadership. Now, there are many instances dotted in history where effective communication led to positive transformation. Case in point, the inspiring speeches of Winston Churchill that galvanized the British war efforts and ultimately led to the victory of the Allies mm -hmm. in the World War. Mm -hmm. This is just one yeah, situation. Have a dream. And then, I mean, you see, there's the I have That's a dream a speech. Dream. So, everything that any human being wants is on the other side of effective communication. So anyone who wants to go somewhere, has a dream, wants to achieve anything, must first learn to communicate effectively because that is what precedes the transformation that you seek. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. Mm, mm. I, I, I just <laughs> okay, so for me, you know, I have, I know about, I have been a part in, due to association. We all have been. <laughs> yes. Due to association to Toastmasters. And I just, I am here this evening actually to learn more and to see how, you know, some of these qualities that, you know, you both possess can be, trans, you know, transmitted into other people through, you know, the television, those listening, and what, what needs to be done to get to that point where we can actually communicate effectively. And why do I say that? If we keep saying we are the leaders of tomorrow, and at this point we haven't started to learn um, the skills and the qualities that we require in order to communicate effectively and become better leaders, how do, how do we prepare ourselves and how are we ready when you know, the opportunity arises. And that is why, you know, we are interested in an avenue like this to be able to get value for, you know, for just knowledge, 
to to get, make our, to get ourselves better and better positioned for opportunities so that when these exactly. opportunities do arise we are able to rise up to that occasion and take the bull by the horn. So, if I can speak experientially, I always say I'm nearly 50 years old. I wish I knew, actually I'll be 50 next year. I wish I knew Toastmasters in my A days, say 2030s. Why do I say that? This is one of the best organization that is out there. Over 100 years old and in 145 countries with 300,000 members. Now, this is the caveat. I always like to emphasize this. This is one organization you can't hide. You have a foul personality. You can't hide because you lead by leading. You speak by speaking. And you're speaking, your peers are giving you feedback. So you are being evaluated and celebrated as you speak. Experientially, I saw a guy on YouTube and the way he held the audience, spellbound, with a stick of ciggy in his hand. He was a champion for the speech contest. And by the way, you need to know that Toastmaster is closely affiliated with all this platform. Majority of the speakers you see in the world, they are offshoot of Toastmasters. Unfortunately, Africans are not embracing Toastmasters the way it should be. This organization is beyond public speaking. It's beyond leadership. Because in the process of leading, like you talked about, uh, DR, RDJ, I had opportunity to meet him, and it was a missed opportunity because I wish I was immersed under his mentorship. My life would have been better because I had the opportunity to work closely. He actually brought me in to where I was working to, to work. I didn't know he was a Toastmasters. And now I'm figuring Toastmasters, and I'm seeing the value that it brings to the table. My vocal variety is so loud. I tell people I don't need a microphone. I would naturally speak. No matter how far you are, you would hear me. But learning the ability to speak, the vocal dexterity that you need to muster is so critical. And because you're being given evaluation, you're being given feedback, it helps. So, and that's why I'm so grateful for the community because they push you to grow. Mm. So you can't be a dodgy character and be a Toastmasters because it requires work. It requires your dedication. You have to craft the speech. You have to prepare the speech. You have to deliver the speech. You have to get the feedback. You have to go back. It's like a school. It is a school. So that's the only way it can be transformative. And that's why I'm particularly excited with the plethora of uh, guests that we have at the Toastmasters Nigeria Conference that is scheduled to hold in the next two days. Okay, so let's, let's quickly go on a very short break. When we come back from that break, I, I want to touch on something you said around why you think Nigerians are not embracing it. And I'll come to you, Diola. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing transformation through communication with Toastmasters Messi and um, Distinguished Toastmaster Kubi. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 one eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. All right, Jill, I want to come to you. Then I'll come back to what I was trying to point out. Oh, okay. So interesting. Um, that um, I mean, I was uh, when you said something about um, you were going to talk about why I, maybe Nigerians had, um, you know, why they have a bit of a challenge, you know, being a part of the Toastmasters. I just smiled because uh, that was a question I was going to ask about. Um, what are some of the challenges that um, you know people have when it comes to transformative communication, especially? with Nigerians, you know, not being in that space, not wanting, you know, to um, to make better their, um, their communication styles. And then, um, is there any way that um, you can help us learn, you know, how to overcome these challenges? Yes. You want to come in? 
Oh yes, and here's the point I want to come in. Let's know, because a lot of people don't know what Toastmasters is exactly. about. Toastmasters, oh. cl Toastmasters clubs provide a positive and supportive environment where members are empowered to learn leadership and communication skills, which results in personal confidence and growth. So that's what Toastmasters gives to people. You gain confidence and of course, growth. And the conference we are having at the Civic Center, Victoria Island on the 8th and 9th, is designed to show the many benefits, the transformational benefits that Toastmasters membership offers. We have conference speeches, keynote speeches, panel discussions, a debate, an Oxford style debate, all lined up over two days, the 8th and 9th of June 2023. Is this free for people? No. Actually, uh -huh. so, so you have to pay us for publicizing it. <laughs> but, but I want but, to answer to your last question because she asked why. I would ask you, if you meet a young graduate today, how do they communicate? Horrible. Mm -hmm. It's short language. So they want to do something, they use S, shaking my head, S, H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, they can't compete in the world that we are. And they feel that it's a very it's travesty for me that communication has degenerated so badly. It's even worse because of the dopamine that they take on when they have a mobile phone. Because they're like this with the phone and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. You're not learning. And so when you want to respond, you respond in short words. And that is not communication. For you to be transformed, to embrace organization like this, like the Indians have done, they are predominantly Toastmasters. They don't speak in English. Toastmaster is in every hundred yards within the environment. And that's how they learn English, because they go by speaking. Like I said, this organization is structured from the region to the district, like I just came back from Togo, then to local clubs, where you can go into a club. And being a member, this is very important, so long as you've joined a member, uh, joined a club, a local club, you can speak in China, you can speak in the US. Just imagine the opportunity that it provides for you. So, so let's, let's keep, keep Toastmaster aside. <laughs> we have a communication problem in Nigeria, right? And I believe that where I was coming with when you said that we had a lot of challenges, right? How do we integrate mm -hmm. something like this, starting it from, you primary. know, primary school? I remember we used to go on debates, we used to do a lot exactly. of things. Some of these things have died. Now, the idea of short codes when texting, I can't do that because, like, I always feel like RJ is going to be cringing if I, you know, so he just, he kind of like, Buried it in my head that oh, well, you must type your message complete. Don't you know? And we don't have those kinds of mentorship, right? Because again, I have seen what fantastic and effective communication can do mm. to either motivate, you know, influence and influence, you know, an entire generation that you start to see greatness coming out of, you know, just oozing out from everywhere. The reason we are degenerated as a people, I think I also want to tie it to also um, poor educational structure. Poor educational structure. I and mean, again, not just, you know, like when somebody keeps re emphasizing certain things into your subconscious and you are just there, nobody's actually even helping you to spot whatever greatness that you have inside of you. So, I mean, so I understand the power of words and I understand if woven together, those words can actually make a difference in the lives of millions of people right so if nigerians are not embracing it two things and again this was the worry i had and i told RGG, i can't be sounding like you people yeah i want to speak my pidgin english when i want to speak i know i cannot be like you and he said to me well you have the freedom to be yourself exactly. right and you also have the freedom but again i think we need to find a way to localize the the um what's it called the communication Find a way to blend it in to the culture, you know, to the local P 
people so that they see it and they don't see it as foreign. That, that way, I believe they would embrace it better. I just came back from Togo. They speak I know. French. They, in, in Toastmaster, they were speaking French. They're I understand. They speak <laughs> French. You so, know? We had, a con we had a contest where it was localized, right? Yes, of you course. spoke Ibibio, you spoke Pidgin. Mm -hmm. yeah, you speak. We are having a club that is bilingual. Diversity. Is what so, I mean, if we about. start to have those kinds of things. No, we have. And we, have, we now start to imbibe speaking rights from secondary school. So we are talking, Primary. so imagine as you are now speaking to the commissioners of, of education across board, mm -hmm. or let's even go to the highest cadre, the minister for education. And we then, we then trickle it down to states and say, okay, you know what? Every child, maybe from the age of five, you know, must begin to start to do all the, what do people call those things, the speeches, the whatever, and all of that. There is no way we will not clean up an entire generation. We already have that in Toastmasters. There's actually there's some something government. like that. You know, Toastmasters has the entry requirements of 18 years and above. Mm. But we have gavel clubs that are affiliates of Toastmasters International. And For children? Children can join gavel clubs. We found a couple of gavel clubs in Lagos State. Uh, one of them is Bloomer's Gavel Club that was founded in uh, Bloom, uh, Blooming Lights Montessori in Omole first one by myself. Okay. So there are such things, but I understand your point of systemizing it. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a, a spark here, another one over there, to make it into that something that is brought into the curriculum so that, I mean, the transformation can reach everybody. Yeah. But that is inclusive in terms of government participation and parents have to get involved. You see, we always tend to blame the government. Parents have a role. Now I'm speaking to you as a parent. So my daughter is 11 years old, you saw her. She gave a, pub, uh, a Toastmaster speech yesterday. Everything I'm doing, I'm carrying them along. We can't say it's a government. Toastmaster has created the platform. Are you struggling? You have children that are struggling to communicate. They can't even express themselves. Sign them up to Toastmasters. Why? You get a coach. You get mentors. You get feedback. You improve. There is no way you go through the process of Toastmasters. Your life is not transformed. And you don't have to sound like RDJ. <laughs> you are authentic <laughs> to yourself. So parent needs to get involved. Enroll your children. This organization helps you to grow as a leader helps you to improve your communication ability. And the fact that it gives you a platform to network like no other, because you meet professionals. As a Toastmaster in our club, or if you're in my club, you can go to US, and your keyword is just, I'm a Toastmaster. I want to deliver speech. And you deliver speech, and you network with someone in the US. What do you think is gonna happen to you? Or you go to the UK, as a club, virtually, I'm not saying travel, because when you hear me say go there, it means join a club. Well, I think, I think this joining of club virtually, COVID helped you guys. Oh, yes. yes. Because, yes. because I know that, you know, it was the, the uh, what's it called, the new reality that came after the advent of COVID that helped a lot of clubs to start going online virtually and all of that. But I just wish that for the children maybe it's free it is free uh -huh. the gavel is free it's important you mentioned that because <laughs> well not free. i know i'm no, so free not, you not know free in you? toastmasters members pay annual dues uh -huh. each member does does it cover Most, the child no gavel clubs they have just a yearly certification fee mm -hmm. that covers all the members of the club just yeah, the not speaking my language <laughs> because we I like really things like here. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. A human focus because, um, you know, transformation, in order for there to be success in transformation, there has to be proper communication. So, yeah, sure. And it's always better when it has a human focus because it will be easy to adopt. So I actually love the fact that you have, you have thought about, you know, involving individuals from, you know, when they're still young yeah. and still impressionable and you can you know start to effect those changes mm -hmm. 
whether in speech or in character and confidence, uh, building, helping them to build their self-esteem early. And this all helps to, you know, get them ready a lot earlier. Unlike, you know, some, some, some of us are learning in our old age, but, you know, it's never too late to... Never. It's never too late to learn. So I love the idea. And definitely, if, uh, if we can make it for the, <laughs> for the conference, why we try? It's a civic center. <laughs> Two days, we are expecting the wife of the uh, governor. We're expecting a keynote speaker. We are expecting so a few commissioners. It's not about them. I want you to come and meet with professionals. So you're looking for work. Come and network. You never know. You're looking to improve your leadership skill. Come and see what is done. My life was changed going to Togo. I've traveled. I've been to seven continents. But going for a Toastmasters conference is like none other. Just the diversity, the opportunity, the freedom to say, I am a Toastmaster to someone that has never met with you. And no guards, no heirs. And you're interacting. And it's not limited to just being in a club. Mm. I've come here today. You come to my club, you've come to know certain people. There's a member of my club that is a Canadian. She's in my club, and she's a semi-finalist on the Toastmaster International State. This is the best school you would ever need. For leadership. For when are you going to sweat now? When are you coming? I wanted to say, when are you going to park on this hour? Our leaders, senators, all of them, let us choke their missile for smarter. They need it. <laughs> ah, God help us in this country. Diola, you have a comment. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, first thing first, you cannot give what you do not have. Exactly. And um, I hear you when you say that, um, you know, you have programs that um, cater to different demographics and all. But however, I still think that. Um, it's important that um, you you up your awareness. You know, people need to know. As a parent, if I don't know, I can't. I can't help my child. I can't. I can't even introduce them to something like this. So it now becomes the Toastmasters' um, job. You know, because again, um, we're looking beyond um, self transformation. We're looking at a really a nationwide transformation and. Um, well, since you guys, I mean, you're doing a fantastic job, then, I mean, you're the tip of the spear. You, you have to do much more to, you know, raise this awareness. People, because people need to honestly, you know, get involved in this. People need to understand how... So, Diola, so, you know, yes, Diola that's why I'm trying to... So, um, I, I'm happy you're bringing this up, and that's why I'm trying to emphasize that. You see what happens with familiarity. If you introduce um, a brand, there's top of the mind awareness. Exactly. If you if you Hello. introduce a brand um, to a child, right, is there, there's every likelihood that if that if that brand can meet the need of that child even up until old age, adulthood, mm. that child will stick to that brand. Yeah. So that's True. where I'm going with it, and that's why it has to be free, because we're trying to solve a problem. Toast, no, I'm I'm saying to you that you 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 have to find a way that yeah. in, in, incorporating this curriculum into classrooms right for children maybe from five years and above it is free so you might have to strike deals with com state commissioners of education but you must understand they must understand the vision and the importance why we have a lot of troubled leaders today is because first of all some of them cannot even express they can't express yeah. what it is that they feel how they feel, you know, about the people. So they can't even they can't even express properly. So you you now have a lot of clash. The people are not listening to your leaders. The leaders are not communicating effectively. So imagine if we started and we say we're on a mission to clean up, you know, um, Nigeria and let us even start from the young age. We start to incorporate it, right? If I have been taught something for like ten years of my life, maybe I started from age five. I'm now 12 or something. There is every likelihood that upon graduation, as I'm leaving secondary school, I'm going to go and sign up now professionally to say, okay, you know what? I am part of this brand, right? So that's why I'm saying that we have to find a way because we're trying to solve a problem here. If we want to transform lives, we know that communication is one of the most effective ways to transform lives. So what are we doing in terms of putting that communication where it's needed from 
that age. Can, can I can I come in? Quickly. I would say quickly. I would if they told me Toastmaster should be free, I would kick against it. I'm a trainer. Mm. I have a business that I train. What you don't pay for, you will never value. Mm. I tell you that for free. Toastmaster can never be free. What we are paying is not for you, not no. for children. I'm saying I'm coming somewhere. Like I told you, the Gavel Club is free, but someone needs to pay. It's just one year's license. You're paying fifty dollars for one year for a group of twenty children. That is free. As a member, what I'm paying for a year is ninety dollars. Hmm. That is the most ridiculous of prices. That, and the reason I say this, with every sense of responsibility, what I pay for my hair or going to fill my phone is not close to the value that I get. Is it the resources, the slides that come with Toastmasters? Is it a networking opportunity? I'm not advocating. The only area that I would say we have a gap as a Toastmaster is our marketing. Our marketing, it's not great. Okay. And I know we need to improve on that. But in terms of the value... Nobody, nobody is disputing the value. But let's quickly take comments. <laughs> <laughs> Jola and Mendy, um, let's take comments. Oh, so I have a comment from Daniel Elo. It says, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying ways. Transformation in communication. In a nutshell, my dear beautiful sister Diola made mention of two people communicating with each other to rob minds and apply solution to the system, which is key. Your guest made mention of a good leader being recognized through his communication. And she also said that that audibly and very key too. Sister Uwa said that one one can be free to communicate with any language of their choice. Sister Awa, you said on the show that you have been stressed. You are too beautiful to be stressed. Amen. Just relax. <laughs> it is well with you. My name is Daniel Ilo, Ways regular fan. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, um, Jola. Okay, um, this one is from San Santos. He says, um, your topic on transformation through communication is an interesting one. But my question to Toastmasters is how do you make it to reach every corner and cranny of the Nigerian society? You want to wrap up on that? We have a so minute. So to wrap... Yeah, let, okay. let me speak okay. about that. Yes. Everything starts with a seed. The first Toastmasters club in Nigeria was found in Victoria Island by a man, the late ambassador of Vincent, Sonny Okobi. Mm. Today, we have about 50 clubs across the country. So, because it is like this today, it does not mean it cannot transform to something better or something greater mm -hmm. tomorrow. I link that back to what you said, Uwa. It should be free. Well, can I tell you a fun fact? Toastmasters originally did not admit women. He started admitting women in 1973. And the first woman to join officially was the first international president of Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmaster Helen Blanchard. Interestingly enough, she had already been a member on the pseudonym of Homer for five years before that. So you see, she came in, things changed. Maybe you can come in. Hello. <laughs> No, but it's a fantastic platform. Mm -hmm. I've seen the lives of people around me transform and all of that. I'm very proud of everyone. You know, if you can, it's actually an important thing to to be to to have as part of your life. You know, I love the discipline, like you rightly said. It's something that you have to really be committed. I think that's why I'm running away from it because I have a lot of things on my plate. You know, but thank you so much, distinguished and Toastmasters. Thank you for having us. <laughs> all right, so thank you, ladies. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all social media handles. It's at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and, more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Uh, 
if you just communicate, you can get by, but if you communicate skillfully, you can work miracles. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. So bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.